Hi, my name is David Brown. I'm an applications engineer for Hawk Ridge Systems. And today we're going to talk about the vent command in sheet metal. It's right up here. And basically I just have a simple sheet metal part here, chassis, and I have a sketch that is sketched on this face of this side of this uh, chassis. And it's just a series of concentric circles and a couple lines. So basically I'm going to use this sketch as the parameters for my vent and I'm going to select the vent tool and the first thing that SOLIDWORKS asks me for in the property manager is the boundary and I select that and this is actually the boundary and what this does is when I select that line SOLIDWORKS also selects that face that that line is on and makes that the face or the basis of this vent feature. And so now it's just a matter of going right down the boxes and filling them in. And for the ribs, I'm going to choose these straight lines here. And I can even change the size or the width of those. And then I'm going to go ahead and add, use the circles as spars. And again, I can change the width of those as well. Now I could stop right here if this was my desired result. Or if I wanted to fill in some of this internal part, part, I could simply use that last sketch line. I'm going to delete that out of here. And I'm going to select my fill-in boundary. And I'm going to go ahead and select that last piece. And that is the last definition that I need to make in there. And I hit OK. And there I have a vent created in the side of my chassis. So in today's video, we talked about the vent command in the sheet metal command manager tabs. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Hawk Ridge Systems YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.